Joining us here at the desk is our political editor, Andrew Clennell. Andrew, good morning to you. Let's start off with this poll. Is Josh Frydenberg really in as much trouble as the poll suggests this morning? Well, there's a perception around the place on both sides of politics that Josh will somehow rescue himself, mm. but I don't think there's any doubt he's in a bit of trouble. And I was just going to raise with you actually a couple of scenarios. Go. One is that Scott Morrison wins and Josh Frydenberg loses his seat. Yep. The other is that Scott Morrison loses and Josh Frydenberg loses his seat and can't become opposition leader. He could be without a treasurer or an opposition leader. Does the Liberal Party then try to get Josh Frydenberg into a safe seat at a by-election, something like hmm. Menzies, and put that MP in the Senate or somewhere else? That I mean, I think you'd have to consider that. Why not? Yeah. I mean, the Teals could take him on in that seat, but it's probably a different sort of seat. They wouldn't have as much luck in a by-election... In the meantime, Dutton becomes leader of the party, though, wouldn't he, if, if both... Were well, to yeah, I mean, it's much more likely if Morrison were to win that you'd have that scenario than, than if yeah. he was to lose. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, I think Dutton would be quite an effective opposition leader, to yeah, be honest I with you. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, so, ju ju this is based on the fact that Josh Frydenberg loses. Uh, we've spoken about this. It's tight. Well, not it's too tight. Sure. But just going through these numbers, though, right, we just spoke about this in the ad yeah. break. So, there's... Yeah. Um, the sample size, folks, 19,000. So it's one of the biggest that has been done by the Australian recently, but that's across all 151 seats. That equals 125 people per electorate. Yeah. There's 145,000 people in Kuyong alone. Yeah. So how reliable is this figure? Well, you wouldn't take it to the bank, that's no. for sure. But I yeah. think it'll show a national trend. And it's interesting that the Australian and the other News Corp papers are doing it a bit at a time to get mm. make some stories out of it. Yeah. I think it'll show what I've been talking about, that Labor is set to win a, a slight majority because you saw Boothby go. Yeah. In terms of the teal seats, they're just a lot harder to poll, let alone mm. with such a small sample mm. because you've got three candidates. So uh, I wouldn't place that much store in it. I think we know Josh Frydenberg's in trouble. I'm sceptical about the Wentworth number, as you mm. are, 56-44 mm. to Sharma. Yeah. Surely it's not that comfortable for him. Yeah. No. No, I think... Just, just from people's uh, ironically, even though it's yeah. a marginal seat, or billed as a marginal seat poll, it'll show us a national trend. Yeah. That'll be the most important thing about it. It's interesting, though. I mean, it points out that, um, that, that the Teals would win only two of seven. I mean, would that... How do you think they would reflect on that if they were to only pick up two? Well, I think that would be a good result for them. Yeah. They've already got Stiegel there. They could probably claim Haynes. Mm. I mean, when did the Australian Democrats or the Greens get four House of Representatives seats? Yeah. This is the thing about this. We and other media outlets have shone a light on the Climate 200 thing on Simon Holmes' Accord. Mm. If they do win four or five seats in total, you can't then say the voters are idiots because, you know, they're not. That's right. They've made that decision in full knowledge of how they're being funded. And suddenly you're talking about a third force in politics or a semi-third yeah. fo force like the Australian Democrats in the 1970s, which came out of the Liberal Party. And that would be a real concern of the Liberal Party. I mean, Don Chip's a hell of a lot different to Simon Holmes, Accord or Zali yeah, yeah. Stegall. But it is interesting they're running on the Federal Integrity Commission. Don Chip was about keeping mm. the bastards honest, true, for true. example. Andrew, appreciate that. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, don't miss today. This is the next in Sky's Battleground Debate series. Liberal and Labor candidates of Queensland's marginal seat of Longman will go head-to-head, -head, 2 o'clock today on Sky.